Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Icarus on the Prometheus map where we're trying to stay alive. Stay alive. And this episode, we're going to try to get into the Iron Age. I smelted uh, a little bit of iron off camera. It took about, I don't know, three or four minutes after the last episode. So we got f uh, 55 iron here. We're going to need a little bit more than that, I think. First thing I want to build is the anvil. And we need some more wood for that, but I think we got lots of wood here. I think so. I think we got some wood stockpiled here. Yeah, we got some wood there. Oh, I got a couple bees here. I got a queen bee and three worker bees. When I spawned in, there was a beehive right up on the wall there, so I killed it. I think it'll keep respawning, <laughs> reappearing. Okay, let's get some stuff in here. We're going to get the anvil built, which should allow us to build the iron pickaxe and iron knife. Some upgrades we really need to progress a little bit better here. Okay, actually, yeah, we'll keep all this stuff in here. Grab the anvil. I'll grab these iron ingots because I'm going to need them. Now the anvil, where should we stick it? I think I'll put it over here in the corner. Eventually we're going to move to a house. Uh, in a different spot here. Okay, we need wood, leather, and ingots for that. Some wood. Uh, thanks for the tips about the shifting and... What is it? Shift? Mouse moves a half a stack. Pretty handy. And I think there's a few others I gotta learn to make it easier to move stuff around. Oh yeah, leather. Let's grab that. That's my food stuff. I guess leather's in here. Yeah, leather. Leather ingots, uh, and yeah, only we only need six for the iron pickaxe. Oh, we're gonna need a little bit of spare iron to repair this thing as it gets damaged. But I'm gonna put the stone pickaxe away, and we'll get the iron one out. Uh, we should probably make an iron axe too, but I don't have the blueprint yet. Uh, let's see if I have tech tree points. No, we. I want to unlock the iron axe. Where is it? Tier two. The iron axe and the iron knife next, I think. And we got some talent points I didn't spend last time. Let's do the solo one first. We're going to do movement speed, I think. More stamina, and then later on we'll do movement speed. We'll just work our way down. Now talent points. I want to get to this thing, the wood breakdown. But for now, I'll go with more. Actually, I got two points here. We could do this. We could do both. Yeah, let's do both. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, we're gonna... What time, what time of day is it? It's almost evening in the game. Uh, let's test out this iron pickaxe. On some iron. Because <clears throat> we're gonna need more... We're gonna need lots of iron. We could try it on copper too, but we don't need copper just yet. We'll get the iron out of this cave. This gives decent experience as well. There's one little piece left there. Uh, there's some hidden pieces. I'm not, gonna, I'm not able to get the whole node. We'll clear this place of iron. Because we're going to need a lot of iron to get to the next tier. We're going to need quite a few levels as well. Uh, we might have to build up there. Or jump up. Whoa. I should. Oh, I got up there. Never mind. <laughs> there is a... There is a Alternate view, if you hit C. I like first person view though. Sometimes the alternate view will let you get to places you normally can't jump. Or at least it used to be that way. Kind of the next stage is the steel age. Oh, we got an electrical flash storm. But we don't have to worry about it because we live in a cave. <laughs> oh. If we had a wood house, it probably would have caught on fire by now. That little leather, nice. We'll just hop around here. Okay, that's good. You know what? For experience, I'm and I can't go because I can't go out in the storm. I might just find that copper. I think I'm gonna try to build a ramp though. Uh, we need a little bit of wood and fiber for that. Let's get this coal out of the way. 
It makes more sense to mine this with better tools later, but we'll just get it out of the way. Let's put those bits in here. And let's get this iron smelting. Oh, that storm. We'll go we'll go run around in the lightning here in a second. <laughs> because it's fun, right? Turn the torch off. Ooh. There is an achievement for getting struck by lightning. Whoa. Did, did it just happen? I... Yeah. Yeah, I just got struck by lightning. I'm on fire. Holy crap. <laughs> 100% water consumption. No kidding. Wow, I didn't die. I thought it would be fatal. Wow, I survived a lightning strike. Okay, let's go back inside. <laughs> we don't want to get hit again. That's never happened to me. So yeah, I got the steam achievement. Getting hit by lightning. That was... Oh, the worm's back. That worm's in a really bad place, actually, for my crafting bench. Gotta make sure it doesn't get damaged. It's, it's fine, it didn't get damaged. Okay. Grab all their bits. Okay, uh, I'll just chuck all that in here. <clears throat> um, that's melting away. We need a bit of oxygen, let's take a huff. And we need to put some more oxalite in there. I think I left it in here. I don't have much oxalite left. That's okay, uh, let's... Let's add some more for future huffing. And let's build maybe some fluff and some wood. Fluff and wood. I think I put it in here. We'll get organized here eventually. Make a ramp. Okay. This copper we can get. No problem. See, our iron pickaxe is getting pretty damaged already. <clears throat> I think it goes iron, steel, platinum, titanium, if I recall correctly, in terms of betterness. Okay, let's see if we can get up here. Yes, there we go. Now, I shouldn't really mine this yet. I don't really need it yet, but actually for steel I might need it. Can't remember. Oh, we should probably spend some talent points as well. Hey, there's some aluminum on the ceiling over there. Uh, let's spend some talent points. Do we get any solo ones? No. I think it's every other level. What should we get here? Uh, carry weight of wood. I don't usually get these carry weight ones. Yield from foraging. 25% yield from butchering animals. That's probably a pretty good one. And crouching movement speed? I don't really need that. There's other tabs here, though. More health, more movement speed. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of points anyway. Okay. We do need to build this contact device for missions. Uh, I don't know if I want that yet, though. Iron shovel. You know what? We'll do a little bit of planting today. Iron axe, iron knife. Those are some key ones. I don't usually use crossbows. Uh, they're pretty good, but they require bolts, which require ingots, which uh, means you need to farm all the stuff. <clears throat> we could make this wood crop plot. Mortar and pestle, we're going to need a longbow. That's probably a better upgrade right now. Let's make a longbow. How's our food looking? We just lost a food buff. We lost the regular meat buff. Got to keep all keep all our buffs going here. We hit Y to destroy building stuff, but you get it back later. I'm gonna leave that coal there. I don't need it right now. So we'll sleep for the night soon. The aluminum I'll leave. I don't need that for a long time. Oh, there is some iron up there. I think I'll try to get that real quick. If 
if I can get up there somehow. I can build more than one ramp. Oh, that's perfect place. There, there we go. Maybe. Oh, we got cave sickness. That's okay. I should build the... Oh, we need the yeast to cure that. And I haven't seen any yeast yet. I'll have to do some exploring to find some. Once we find some, though, we can plant it locally. Oh, there's one little piece there. One little tiny nodule. Oh, I gotta get it. There we go. We got it. <laughs> okay. And this copper... I think I'll save that copper until I get steel, unless I need it. Okay, we gotta build some stuff here. We gotta build... Um, we'll build an iron knife first, which needs nails. So we'll make... We get ten nails out of this. <clears throat> oh, that's the throwing knife. I want the regular knife. The iron axe. We need some more iron ingots, which we should have now. Yeah, oh yeah, lots of juicy ingots in there. Get the iron axe. Now, I'll keep the second bone knife on me, but let's get our iron knife. So this, the yield on this, we get a 200% yield from skinning versus the bone one is 150. And this thing puts out a little bit more damage. So it's better. And the axe, we get 100% yield versus the iron is 125. So these are all good upgrades. We'll chuck the old ones in there. The reason I'm keeping the, the bone one is that just in case this wears out. And did I make a shovel? We'll get this iron shovel going too. Grab that. <clears throat> we might use that soon. Oh, and the longbow. Where was that longbow? Yeah, we can make that. Now, we can't repair this in the field. Like, we can repair this in our inventory. So, that's one disadvantage. So, we'll keep the regular one just in case it gets broken. I got a spare torch here. Good. Get the shovel there. I think we're good to go here. With new and improved tools. We got lots of wood in there. Yeah, we'll smelt this up. The copper I'm not going to smelt just yet, so I'll stash it. And the ramp I probably don't, oops, probably don't need to carry around with me. Regular bow, yeah, I think we can go outside after it's morning. Now it's 7 a.m., okay. How are we doing for water and oxygen and stuff? Let's get top, top everything up. Oh, you know what? I want to make a water skin if I can do that. Do I have that yet? I think I got it last time, didn't I? I think it's made in here. Yes, the water skin. Perfect. We need that. Move these things up here. Water skin, baby. Yep. <clears throat> water, and then later we'll get the oxygen bladder. Which is over here somewhere. Oxygen bladder, yep. We'll get that next level. Let's fill up our skin. Delicious. Perfect. Okay. It's dark out still. I'll keep that torch on. You can hear lots of animals out there. But we're, we've got new and improved items, so things should go better. A ramp got kind of messed up here. The storm. See, this is what would happen to our house if we were living outdoors right now. Okay, I want to get some corn here. I don't need it, but we're going to grab some. Because we're going to get some seeds. And I'm going to try... Oh, it's all... Why is it all falling on the ground? Am I full? Why is the corn falling on the ground? That is unusual. I've never noticed that before. I thought... Oh, I'm picking it. That's strange. I didn't ever notice it on the ground before. Huh. There is a animal beastie over there. Now, we should be able to skin these guys now. Turn the torch off. Let's see if we can get this guy. He's probably going to do a lot of damage to me. Uh. I'm inside of him. 
Yeah, we got him. We got him. We don't much stamina because that pneumonia. Is another one charging me? No. Okay, now we can skin this guy. Before we couldn't skin him because we had a crappy knife. With an iron knife, we can skin him. Oh, he's got a lot of good bits. And he's probably got a decent amount of bone in him. Oh, that's a lot of bone. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, the reason I got the corn seeds is I want to try to make a... The shovel. I didn't realize this till recently. If you right-click, it makes a dirt mound. If you left-click, you get just dirt. Sometimes. Maybe. I think there's some bugs since the last update. Okay, there's dirt here. Got no stamina. Yeah, we need to find some yeast to cure that disease. Anyway, uh, with this plot on the ground, if we put some corn seeds here, we can plant them. Now when you use these little mounds, you can only use them once. Once, once we, once this grows up fully, we'll lose the mound, I think. And they changed, there was an update just recently which changed, see it says resist here two storms. Uh, they take damage in storms, which lowers the quality of the uh, the yield and stuff. So we'll just plant a little. We don't need to plant this corn, but I just wanted to show you guys that. We could plant a, a fluff as well. We get in the dirt. Mm. There we go. We'll plant uh, plant one of these fibers as well. We don't need to, but just for fun. And we'll let those grow. I think actually I'll go get some more iron after we redo our food buffs here. Do all of those. Got some raw meat. I should go put that away because our inventory is pretty full. Chuck these seeds. I don't. Uh, actually, I might. No, I probably won't need those seeds. We got corn out front. How many slots do I have? Ah, uh, we can get a decent amount of iron. Oh, but whenever, whenever I see an animal, I'm gonna go for it because good experience, good materials. Ah, here comes the sun. Can you feel it? It's nice and warm. Ah, yes. Very misty in this planet. Quite misty. Take all of that. Oh, lots of animals. I think this bow is a little bit better. Let's see if I can get this bird. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to try it. <laughs> Not even going to try. There's a perk you can get that lets you run faster when you're holding a knife. I usually get that one. The next big kind of unlock is tier 3, which is level 20. The machining bench. Which kind of gets you into the steel age. We probably won't get there this episode. That's okay. I am going to try to get into that other cave, though. Your aim actually doesn't have to be super good in this game. I find, like, the hitbox is quite large. I hear a bear. There is a bear that's roaming around here somewhere. We're probably going to encounter him at some point. I think I could survive him now, though, without too many issues. And we will explore this area at some point. Uh, let's see. I probably want to end up settling by one of these lakes. That's where we're going to build our home, because we're going to need water. And maybe even water power. Let's get in here. There's going to be cave worms. They respawned. Bees, too, probably. But we don't have to go all the way in. We can get this iron first. You need a lot of iron in this game and you need even more copper. Because you got to make electronics later. And electronics use tons and tons of copper and gold. 
It's a bit of a grind fest, but because we're on a persistent world, we only have to do it once. I want that one little tiny morsel, but... Oh. We got it. Okay. <clears throat> Copper, we'll save for later. Okay. Where are you, uh... Cave worms. There you are. Let's get rid of you first. In the kisser. Okay, I'm gonna... I hear bees, too. We'll be raising bees later. We'll get a beehive going. Uh, I don't really see the hive yet. Let's get some iron. My backpack is full. I'll drop this for leather. That's not a big deal. Oh, there's the hive. Oh, they're coming for me. Come here, you. What? They're not very strong. What else can I drop here that I don't really need? The dirt. Um, the rot. Kind of clears things up a little bit. And even the oxygen I can store here. Come here, bees. I'll show you what I got. Anyway, let's get this. <laughs> this is probably the best way to level for now. Okay, we got them. I gotta take out the hive though. We're gonna want those bees later. Yeah, the hive is up there. That will piss them off. <laughs> oh yeah, you get 2600 experience for taking out the hive. Pretty good, it's like killing a wolf. I could probably jump up here. Uh, some way. Grab this. You know what? These don't really have that much use. I've found. <laughs> so I'll just leave them behind. And we have an infinite supply of them. Oh, another level. Good. Ooh. I fell in a hole. I could build a ramp. But I think I'll just do this. Maybe. Oh. Oh. I don't think I have the stuff I need for a ramp. Oh, come on, we can get it. I know we can get it. Maybe not. Uh, I think I can build a ramp. Yeah, let's just build a ramp. That'll take up an inventory slot. We need a backpack. Now, I could get some stuff. I do have some blueprints and stuff for some of the workshop items. I could be, I could be using some of those. More iron. Inventory's full. Let's drop the corn. I don't really need the corn. We have lots of corn up front. <coughs> I'm missing a buff. I'm missing the bacon buff. There we go. Oh, and I should put my water skin on my. Oh, I don't have a. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't have a. Some of the suits have a water slot. I don't have that suit yet. We'll get it later. Okay. Yeah. Oh, another worm. Got him. Let's get some water in real life. Much better. Okay. Spot for that. Let's just drop the ramp for now. We'll take all this back, get it smelting. And drop up all this extra stuff that we have. I'm like, what is that? That's the dirt. I'm like, what's that box? Any bears out here? See any? My torch is still on. That's fine. I like how there's two caves here. It's pretty nice. Pretty convenient. Oh, is that yeast? No, that's just some kind of non harvestable stuff. Our pneumonia cleared up. Let's have a sip of the water here. Lovely. 
and I'm gonna get this meat buff up as well. There's some crazy food buffs you can get later on. We'll get into that. Some delicious meals that give crazy experience. Well, let me spend these points here while we got them. Uh, solo. We got, um... Stamina regen would be nice. Movement speed would be nice. And over here we got uh, more movement speed. Oh, yeah. Movement speed will be good. Good all around. Okay, this. We need to put some more iron in here. <clears throat> you know what? Yeah, let's just cook it all. Oh, I hear the bear out there. You know what? Let's keep some fluff on us for ramps. All this food we can start cooking away. This is cooked. Grab that. And more wood. More meat. Let that cook up. Got a little extra bone on us we don't need. You know what? We could make some more bone arrows. We just need some leather. Bone arrows. Yep. This tech tree is... There's a lot in this tech tree. There's a lot of stuff. What should we do next? Um, the watering can we'll need later. Oxygen bladder would be good. Uh, the fancy oxygen maker. That's what I want. This thing. I want that. This thing's too primitive. Let's just pick it up and put it away. It's not very useful. Uh, we're going to make the other oxygen thingy at the crafting bench. The ox this, this one. This one's quite an upgrade. There's a really fancy one you get later on where you just add water and electricity and you get oxygen. <clears throat> so you don't even have to collect oxalate anymore or oxide. Yeah. Okay, let's put this down somewhere. Back in the corner. Maybe. Oh, right here is a good... Sure, we'll put it there. See, we can put bladders in here and let them fill up. But we also need a fuel. We need sulfur for fuel. Oops, wrong one. Grab a block of that. Stick it in here. And we need to make an oxygen bladder. I'm going to destroy this old one get some materials back. You get like half or a quarter or something like materials back. I need oxygen bladder. I'm going to grab a couple. Make a couple. One for reserve and then one that we carry around with us. Put those in there. It starts filling up. We need some more oxide though. I'm going to go quickly grab some oxide. Where's that bear? That bear is going to be good experience if we can find him. But let's grab some oxide. I'm going to build that contact device, I think. Just to get that message off my screen. <laughs> There's probably a way to hide it, but... And then we can see what missions we got. There's some basic missions. Okay, we got enough. I don't want to go too crazy mining with these with the low grade pickaxe because we're going to improve on this thing it's already half worn down see this this pickaxe has 40,000 health right now it has 18 18,800 one hit brings it down to 18,700 so it doesn't really last that long but it only requires one iron ingot to repair, so it's not too, too bad. Okay, let's go get the oxygen thingy going. We'll go maybe scope out our settling spot here. Oh, I didn't want to add oxide. I wanted to open it up. There we go. Let's add a whole two chunks. <clears throat> Looks good. Let that bladder fill up. Put the rest away. We'll round things in there. I'm got 39 bacon on me. Wow. Let's uh split that. And I think I got food in here. We got lots of bacon rotten away here. We'll preserve this stuff at some point. 
And I got a worker bee in there. That worker bee should be over here. Stack that up. Okay, let's take uh, oxygen and we can put it in this oxygen slot here and it'll just automatically use it up. It should, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna grab a fresh one. There we go. Okay, what next? Let's do, um, let's do this contact device. 15 ingots and rope. We need some rope. Rope is from fluffs. You can get rope from leather later on. But I don't have that yet. Do I have any more fluffs? Fiber, as it's properly known. Oh, I think I need some. Let's go and get some. Wait! Oh, you can get fall damage in this game too. But it's pretty forgiving. I do like the animation. I wish you could maybe turn it off though. Once you've seen it a few times, it's like, it just takes up time. Always, always hunting. Okay, we need some fluffs. Uh, that would be over here. And we're actually right here, these things. Oops, wrong, wrong one. We want the bone sickle. I should get the steel sickle going on. I mean the iron one. But let's just get a whole whack of fiber here. These give fiber too, I think. Yep. Oh, it's a whole, there's a whole bunch here. We'll just get a whole bunch. How much do we got? 405. We'll grab a bit more. Stamina is getting wrecked. Oh, we'll blue back. You know what? I'll take this guy out. Let's get some distance here. That's that was not enough. Run. Well you we'll play monkey in the middle here. We'll use this to our advantage. Oh, he's mad. I'd be mad. Oh, he's gonna get around. Let's just get his head here. Oh. Oh! He got me. Oh, I think I, I... Oh, what the heck? I didn't invite you. Ah, uh, he's dead. Okay. The other one is angered. But he's frozen, so... Good thing we had the health buffs, or we would, we'd be in trouble. I shouldn't kill these friendly, friendly creatures, but... We need their bits. That prime meat buff is one of the best buffs early on. 100 stamina, 150 health, experience bonus, and health regenerated. Definitely worth getting. Okay. We got enough. Do we have enough fluff? How much do we got? Let's, let's, let's go, get for, go for 600 here. Okay, that's good enough. Let's get that contact device going. Oh, there's a whole bunch right here I could have just caught. I like our cornfield. Oh yeah, how's our corn doing? It is, uh, it's coming up pretty good. It's got sun and planted with the shovel buff. We'll build some proper planters later on though. Not here though, probably. Unless we need to. Everything is cooking here. We got enough wood in there. Yeah, that looks good. This looks good. Grab the cooked stuff. Man, we got lots of meat. We need to get a salting station going. Preserve all this food. I wish sort did stacking, but it doesn't seem to. We'll put all this in here for now. And we need some rope. More rope. How much can we make? 53, I'm gonna make 11. 
because it's easy to type. And then that contact device. We need 15 ingots, which we should have tons in here. <clears throat> yep, 20 in there. Okay, there she comes. I'm not, I think this thing might have to go outside. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. I'm... Uh, let's see. Yeah, outside. It's because it lands a ship when you call it in. I'm going to put it out here. Oh, there's a drac there. we got to get him before he sees Great us. Work. Now that you have access to short-range radio, you'll be able to take on simple missions. Check the board to see what's available. There's always something to do. If you want to take on more complex assignments and get more time with yours truly, you'll have to craft an infrasonic relay device. <laughs> UDA's way of keeping out fresh foot prospectors looking for an early grave. Oh, almost forgot. One last thing. Cinetai have come up with a fancy new way of shipping your exotic halls off world. They're calling it the Orbital Exchange System, OES. Abandoning all your planet side tech is a thing of the past, if you prefer. Chuck them in the pod, and it drops it all off at the station. Pretty cool, huh? It is cool. It's free for now, while they're still testing the pods. Who knows how much cash they'll rake in from this later. OES schematic should be available. If you want to build one. Good luck, Prospector. Try not to die. <laughs> we will try our best. Okay, my inventory is full again. We'll get more, uh, we'll get a backpack going on at some point here. I got attacked during that, that, uh, speech he was doing there. Backpack comes with the textile bench. Let's see if we have... Is that anywhere close? Cooking bench is good. Ice box is handy. We could preserve our food. Salting station. That's what I want. Cooking, salting. Yes. We'll get those going. What else do we got here? Crop plot. Herbalism. Oh, herbalism. We're going to need it eventually. Mortar and pestle we're going to need. Crushed bone is handy. Honeycomb products. Yeah, let's do that. But fishing bench, ranching, oh, beehive, wooden cover, textiles. I want this because we're going to get the backpack, which will give us more inventory slots. We got a lot to do, a lot to do, a little time. Oh, yeah, let's check this thing here first. Simple quest operations, simple quests, uh, build a watchtower, down drone. This gets you currency that you can get better items with. We'll do those in the future, but probably not today. Okay, let's drink some water. And our buffs are about to evaporate here. We got meat. That's just we got so much food. We're just swimming in food here. Might as well just keep those buffs up. Okay, we're getting kind of cramped in here. We could move into the bigger cave. Hmm. Textiles bench. Salting, you know what? Let's do salting. I got no inventory space for that. Let's put some stuff away. Don't need all this fluff and leather. You know, let's put it all away. There we go. Uh, salting station, pretty nice item. Doubles the length of your food. Durability. Let's just chuck that there. Uh, and I do have some salt kicking around here. Somewhere, there it is. Salt. Probably best to salt the cooked food. Like, we'll salt this bacon. Right now it's going to last... Well, there's a bug right now that says zero seconds, but... We'll assume it actually works. And... That's probably good for now. We have so much food, it's not really an issue. Okay, we need more inventory space. You know what? Seeds? I think I'll put the seeds... Upstairs. We'll have, a, we'll have a dedicated seed box eventually. Okay, looking good. Uh, we can fill our water thingy. Which is about to go. Knife's looking pretty worn down, but that's okay. Textile bench next. Oh, cooking would be nice too. Textile, we need some wood. I have somewhere. 
I had some spare wood. Uh, 69. We're gonna have Nico need to go chop some wood. I'll do that off camera unless we desperately need wood. Textiles bench. Cause chopping wood is eh, not super exciting. Necessary. We'll do the cooking station after that. Okay, textile bench and cooking station. This thing's pretty big. Where are we gonna stick this thing? <laughs> Gave life. Hmm. Oh. Can I put it back in the water here? Yeah, we're not going to use it much, so we'll stick it in the water. <laughs> uh, I don't have the backpack yet. That must be a blueprint. Somewhere back through here. Leather backpack. This one's pretty important. Uh, creature deterrent. Yeah, those are actually useful later on. Cooking station. Let's put that somewhere. We're gonna have to have a big moving day at some point. We'll put that in the water as well. What do we got here? Uh, seed cracker. Um, fruit snack pack. There's a lot of good things in here. I'm gonna turn some of that raw meat. Raw meat into animal fat. Because I know that's used for other recipes. What could we make here? Cream corn? We can make that. I think some of the buffs we already have are quite good though. We'll do that in the future. You know what? Let's cook up or turn the rest into animal fat. Because animal fat doesn't rot, so good way to preserve it. Okay, back out we go. What should we do next? We want to get another level so we can do another get that backpack. Get more inventory slots. Our tools are looking a little worn. We haven't really explored much. We could go on a little yeast hunt. I'm gonna head over this way. I haven't explored that way yet. <clears throat> See what kind of trouble we get into. Semicolon is auto run in this game. It's pretty handy. Saves you. Saves your finger. Some beasties ahead. Let's try to get this guy here. I totally missed. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I think you're in the way. I got him. Thought I missed or had a bad shot. I hear... I always think those blue back guys are bears. Let's go see what's up the hill. We haven't been up here, I don't think. Too far. I do have a talent point I could be using. Oh, bullseye. Oh, yeah, we, I think we saw the guys already. We've been part of the way up here. I do want to get into the lava biome. Maybe we'll take a peek at the lava biome. I suspect it's hot, hot, hot. There's some bad weather coming up ahead here too. Gotta be careful of. Another corn installation. Okay, where are we? Oh, we're not even close to the fog of war. We'll keep running here. I'll do a little bit of resource gathering off camera. And uh, the next time we can unlock some new stuff. We got some coal here. I don't really need that right now. Oh yeah, this cliff. Forgot about the cliff. I'm gonna... Try to jump down here unwisely. I'll probably break my leg. There is a safe way down. Uh, maybe I just got myself in a bit of a pickle. Gravity's low on this planet, so... Oh, uh, I'm stuck in the wall. Ouch, I didn't break my leg. That's good. I could have gone that way. You know what? I think there's a cave down here, too. But I want to see what's along the edge here. I want to see how we get into here. It's 
a bit of a run. But we'll see what's along the way. This might be a cave. Or is this just a regular rock? Oh no, this is a cave. This is one of those caves you have to hit your way into. We'll take a peek inside. Get that torch on. Oh, it's thick. What the heck? That's a big one. We'll make a little door here. If you play this game, you'll be spending quite a bit of time in caves. Because, uh, you need a lot of metal. It's a big grind fest. Okay, that looks good. Ooh, there's like a light source in here. Will there be worms? Ooh, that might be a gold, a permanent gold thing. Or sulfur. We'll find out in a second here. Any bees? Is this gold? Gold! Deep mining gold! So close to our base. Uh, we won't be able to use this for a while, but it's an infinite gold source. And we need a lot of gold. Oh, there's exotics there. And there's bees. Level 50 bee. They're coming for me. Uh, let's get them. Come on. Bring it on. Oh, now they attack when I turn my back on them. A lot of level 50 bees. Okay, let's take out the hive. Take that. Oh, a few left to piss off. Come and get me. They've got the agility of... But no health. Okay, I want to get up to that hive, actually. Get my arrows. I'm going to need to build up there, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, can we jump up here? No. There goes my torch. I think we got a spare here somewhere. Uh, yep. Torch. Uh, let's build a ramp. We need some wood and fiber. Okay. Mm. Um, I do want to get that hive because we're going to need the bee parts later on. And it will despawn. It will despawn pretty soon, so I want to get it. Lickety split. Grab all this. Oh. Get that experience while we can. I got a talent point I should probably use. Well, let's get some wood real quick. Ember. Oh. Hi. Oh, it was falling. Oh, be careful. <laughs> Trees falling on your head really hurt. You know what? I got to get that perk that picks up all the wood talents. It's down here somewhere, I think. Uh, survival. Right down here. Chopped wood is automatically, automatically added to your inventory. We want this later. It's quite good. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, crap. Oh, well. That is not the one I wanted. We don't really need a lot of stone. Are these things were rolling. Yeah, the auto pickup is definitely a perk you want. As I've gone on and on about in past videos about this game. I have played open world before on the sticks map for YouTube. Yeah, that's good. Let's get back in there and get those bees. Oh, right before we take out this guy. Sorry. Sorry, you were peacefully enjoying your day. And I turned you into lunch. I'm sorry. So three caves really quite close together here. Let's get inside here. Let's build that ramp right now. Maybe a couple of them. Get our torch on, get inside here. That gold vein is... These are random, I think, the way they spawn. So that is a really lucky find. Okay, that beehive, please don't have... Please don't be gone. That's still there, good. Okay, we gotta get up there real quick. These are pretty nice. The honey, there's lots of good food that uses honey later on. 
Uh, is this going to help me? Um, I want to unfocus the grid end key. Does that work? Uh, that's not actually probably not the best place for it. And there we go. Let's put it right here. Uh, will that work? Yeah, that'll work. We got another queen bee. Lovely. Uh, I need to make some room here. Okay. Making some room. Don't need those bones. We'll get that backpack soon. Let's have a sip of water. We'll grab a little... Oh, the exotics we want. These we can send up to get points to buy stuff in the workshop. Oh, we got some... Mm, thunderstorm. Get these exotics. I think I'll wait out the storm off camera. Like between episodes. I might wrap this up a little bit. Slightly early. What else can I drop here? Uh, hmm. No, I want to. I kind of want to keep everything. <laughs> I'll, I'll mine mine some of this iron out of here. Oh, there's a, is there two in here? There's an aluminum thing in here as well. We could put two deep mining drills in here. Wow, this is like the. Uber cave. I've never seen two deep mining things in one cave. So that is quite nice. I don't see any regular gold in here though. Fortunately. Oh, I, actually there's some right there. I'm not going to mine this though until I absolutely need it. Someone mentioned in a comment that my sleeping bag was getting damaged. Um, because it was too close to the entrance of the cave. I will fix that off camera. Thank you for mentioning that. But I will wrap it up here. Let's just take a look at our talent tree. See what we want to do. There's some pretty cool bee stuff we can do. Um, we're working our way towards steel stuff. Steel needs uh, the special furnace. I think it's in tier 3. Machining bench we need. And then we need the cement mixer. We're going to need cement. For the concrete furnace, you can only do steel and above in the concrete furnace. And then platinum tools are quite an upgrade, but steel comes before that. Did they show up in here? Iron, steel, here's the steel stuff. But we can't even get that to level 20. Lots of stuff to do, lots of stuff. It's quite, it's a decent grind to get up to steel, but then it gets even crazier. Tier 4, the fabricator, we need electronics. Electronics requires a lot of stuff. Then we get into some of the power and water stuff, electric furnace. But I want to explore the map as well. The map's quite big. There's some lava bits up here. There's some ice over here. We'll explore the whole map eventually. I'm pooping out spoiled meat. <laughs> Let's get those buffs back up. Uh, let's do this one first. That one. And some bacon. Yeah, we'll wrap it up here though. I'll wait out the storm because it's going to take some time. And we'll continue on next time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.